guest has been working on stage, on screen, and behind the mic for more than three decades. He is known and loved for his work in The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Skylanders, so many things, just to name a few. And he is a sought-after and respected teacher and coach. We are so excited to finally get buzzed with the fabulous Richard Horvitz. Mm. Yes! Ding. Yes! Are you buzzing? I'm buzzing. He's buzzing already. Because <laughs> I still use a pager. Do people use pagers anymore? <laughs> Dude, welcome so. to VL Chuck, Buzz Weekly. Good to see you. Thanks what for being treat, here. Man. What a treat, man. What a treat. The treat is mine. The treat is mine. It's so cool that you live in the area. I do. So you I decided, walk hey, here. what the heck? I'm just going to drive I'm by. free tonight. Go over. I do. Yeah. And I'm, so I'm, this is a drive-by. It's just a drive-by. Duck. We just sit here and wait, and we're like, hey, yeah, who do you want to talk to us? You, yeah. come on yeah. in here. And then and then the funny thing was is that Richard came in and said, hey, you know what? I remember the last time I was here at your studio, Chuck. And I'm like, when was that, man? And he's yes. like, do you, do you remember how many years ago that was? It has to be at least five or six, maybe even more probably. More than that. Seven or eight. Yeah, maybe, yeah. probably more like seven or eight. Yeah. So we, we we produced a demo together yes, we did. like seven or eight years ago with yeah. Crispin Freeman, who's Crispin freaking Freeman. insane now. Mm -hmm. Insane! Doing so great. Yeah, he's an awesome, awesome dude. Insane. And, and I was insane. like, oh my God, you're right. That was yes. so long ago, but it was so cool. And I, and, and I still got lost coming here. Yeah, and I you still got lost. The what the heck is wrong with you, you know, man? I'm, I'm still you're actually so pretty, schwitzing. Richard. He's schwitzing. So pretty. My goodness gracious. Smart and pretty. That's what we that's, like to put together. Idea. Exactly. I mean, they're, right. not so, yeah, they're, they're not mutually exclusive. They're not mutually exclusive. I, though, however, am mutually exclusive. Yes. So Truth hold back on story. those emails, kids, yeah. especially the ladies. Yeah. What do you Soon feel your strengths are as a voice actor? <laughs> a willingness to play pretend and have fun. Yeah. I yeah. teach five steps. My steps are, and I and I and these are the steps I teach. I am. I am the person in the story. It is happening to me right now. Mm -hmm. I am the alien. I am the beaver. I am the little boy. I am the father. I am the son. It is me. It's not him, they. Right. It's me. It's happening right now. Second is a uh, willingness to play pretend. Enter a secondary reality. If you're judging it, we know it. If you're thinking it, we know it. I'm having a willingness to play pretend. People do that all the time. Oh, this is crap. The writing's horrible. But I'll try it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Next. Step three, have fun. Yeah. Step four, what do I want? In every story, we want something. Mm -hmm. It's not motivation. We say our want, usually. Step five, be specific. Who, where, what, when, how. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I teach. And each one of those Fantastic. steps is very involved. That's just like a broad yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but you too can learn to go <laughs> bleh. Um, <laughs> And and that's uh, I don't even know why I brought that up. Oh no! Yeah, what, what, what are, are my your strengths? strengths my strengths. Yeah. Yeah, Besides so, in being song cue man, uh, a new super, super my power. strengths are I'm I'm fearless. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah, I'm and I, I get yes. that totally. Absolutely. Yeah. I you know I didn't make this statement up, uh, but I love it, and it's my wife always says it to me. Other people's opinions are none of my business. Mm -hmm. So what other people think love of me it. is none of my business. Yeah. This is who I am, this is how I play. I'm sure that people that love me, people that hate me, I'm not right for some things, I'm, not, I'm right for other things. But I do know what I bring to the table. And I think knowing your voice, um, voice more than just voiceover, um, mm -hmm. I think that's another mistake we make in voiceover. I think it's, it's a misnomer to call it voiceover. It should be called speak over. Because what happens in, in voiceover is uh, uh, an actor will get their sides, their story, and the first thing they'll think is, what voice am I gonna do? Right. So your whole your whole thing becomes about doing the voice. Well, that should be, you know, those of us that do this, we put the voice on last. We do the story first. We break down our story. We know when we know why we say what we say. Mm -hmm. Then we're informed, and it allows us to play. Right. I made that up. I mean, everybody has either good habits or some people have bad habits. Mm -hmm. What are some, a few bad habits that you see often, maybe in, in voice actors, mm -hmm. and what are a few, what are some good habits that you also see that people have just just to, to, to identify the bad habits and the good. 